Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit space weather, seismic activity, volcanic monitoring with electromagnetism, galactic eye candy, and an interesting piece on material movement at that galactic scale. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where we took more solar flares. Luckily, they have been impulsive and are not producing CMEs of tremendous size. You may recall from yesterday's show, NOAA Space Weather Forecaster had issued a minor alert for low-level geomagnetic storm conditions today, so let's break it down starting with the flares. X-ray flux here, showing the timing and strength of those flares, two X-class events in the sequence. Over the last 24 hours, the primary producer has been the northern incoming sunspots. They are the most complex region on the Earth-facing half of our star, with lots happening in that small, confined area. Other spots much less likely to flare. Off next to the solar wind, where early this morning the first part of a two-headed space weather event is unfolding. A small CME impact is taking place here today, and it is already causing geomagnetic unrest and even the lowest level storm signatures. Later today, we could see the coronal hole stream arrive, eyeing the geomagnetic conditions today when that happens. Folks, we have a seismic swarm alert, this one taking place in Ethiopia. The swarm is growing in magnitude with it creeping up to 5.8 yesterday, and these shakes are located directly along the East African Rift Zone, the region where scientists think Africa is going to split in half. After the swarm here the last couple of days, cracks are appearing in the ground, even strong enough to rip the roads. Coming next to the first use of electromagnetic fields for volcanic monitoring. We have been waiting for them to actually put this into use for years, and they picked Yellowstone first. Good news, not enough pressure or flow. Big eruption, eons away. Eye candy is up next. This galactic shot shows diffuse gas and dust, star clusters, and then right next to the core, a little blue dot. That is just one star caught in the act of going nova. Nice shot there. And last but not least, they are discovering a set of galactic conveyor belts, looping flows that take material in, out, around, and through the galaxies. Observers, you ready to see what these flows look like? Yeah, and the word magnetism Nowhere to be found in this scientific work. This is the kind of level of big picture interdisciplinary science failures we have to deal with from the so-called experts on a weekly basis. Folks, we're getting ready to finish filming for our Pole Shift disaster documentary and move into production. But a quick shout out here to our sponsor, goldobservers.com. Every serious prepper I know includes some metals in their stash. These guys are observers on our team. And we hope you consider goldobservers.com for yourself and your family. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.